Yes! They're flying everywhere! This is hilarious! What's going on everybody, Dregas here, and welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher. So the last episode pretty much confirmed that we have a glitched save state. The new vegetables are not spawning for me, and therefore, we're getting rid of this save. Now that's not as bad as it sounds, because my buddy Icy Caress decided to make a replica world of our current world, and he also warned me that there's a few more cats, and I'm kind of worried about that because we got a lot of fucking cats here. So anyways, before we go to that world, I figured it'd be fun to uh, pay our world one last visit and pretty much demolish it because destruction is fun. So I got a bunch of plorts here. I'm going to try and turn, intentionally turn these guys into evil tar. I know that's awful because they're so damn cute, but you know what? I just want to see it. So here we go. <laughs> Let's have a tar invasion like no other. <laughs> Oh my god, there's chaos already, cats are flying everywhere, they're being eaten, this is freaking awful, and we, we have to do the boom slimes as well, so this should be fun. <laughs> Look at this, they're flying everywhere, this is hilarious. Okay, I gotta get out of here, they're freaking eating me, I honestly didn't expect my cats to die so quickly, there's still a few more over there, hopefully I can turn them into tar, okay, they are chasing me, I'm going to die, I'm at 20 health, I don't want to die because then they probably reset, so they're, they're gonna obviously follow me, oh god. Okay, I think we're healed enough. Let's see, uh, this tar guy really wants to get me. He, like, followed me all the way to my place. Oh, they're exploding! No, I want to see them explode! Okay, so yes, they slowly explode after a certain amount of time. They don't last very long. Tar's lives are kind of depressing. They, they wreak havoc and then die within five minutes. They're a lot like mosquitoes. Okay, but let's actually pick up a lot of this extra plort because I'm going to need to do the same thing with the boom caves. And honestly, a tar cave is probably safer than the current cave situation that's going on over there. So if you ever want to exterminate a shitload of cats really, really quickly, just feed them poop they're not used to. Clearly, that works very well. Okay, well, the positive thing is my leg is much better now. That's kind of nice. Let's turn these guys into tar, I guess. There you go. Have a good time, guys. Are, are these guys going to eat each other? Let's see who wins. The tar... Or the rock guys. I'm gonna say... Okay, the tar has definitely... What did you see that guy's eyes? I feel so bad. How could this happen to me? Oh, God. My puddles. They're running away. Are you guys scared? How the hell did you get out? I don't want you guys to die. I feel so bad. Actually, I'm curious. Do these guys evolve yet? Did they change them? No, you can just hit them with these. Okay, come on this way. Yes, come on. Get in there. There you go. This is your home. I'm not going to hurt you guys. Get the fuck back in your home. Yes, there we go. Okay, and finally, the boom caves. This is going to be uh, interesting to say the least. This might make it safer, like I said. So let's just uh, start it up, I guess. Here we go. The tar is going to come really quickly. Here you guys go. Have some of these. They're delicious. Oh my god, this is so chaotic. There's not many honey slimes left. It's all tar in here and they're just jumping around and that is how quick the tar infestation goes it didn't take long it took about 30 seconds to lose them all oh my god this is so cool though i wish i could keep tar because they're they are seriously crazy oh god i got 20 health once again that's one more hit and i'm dead and they are following me i'm getting the hell out of this cave system and it's so peaceful out here look at it. it's so nice and you don't realize the craziness that's going on inside of here actually are they starting to die yes they are ah oh, man I, I really missed that i i, I kind of wish i saw all of them explode at once Okay, but now we can collect some plort here, and I'm actually going to evolve the rad slimes to see the, the different ways the rad slimes look. So I'm going to hopefully get a bunch of different types of plort here. Well, the once explosive caves now have went all but silent. There's something very eerie about this. The fact that I had such a huge population, and now I seriously have just a few puddle slimes and a few rad slimes. It's kind of sad, to be honest. Okay, but let's check out how these guys evolve. So we're gonna do the honey slime here. There we go. That is a honey rad. So basically just an ordinary honey with a green ball around him. And then the boom slime. There we go. He does actually change to the boom slime with just a green rad around him. Probably they're all gonna look like this. Just basically the same thing. Oh, well, at least the cat turns green with obviously the green thing around him as well. Okay, we turned to all the rest of the guys. Oh, is there tar in there? Oh, shit. Oh, well, we, uh, we turned them into a bunch of different ones. We got, uh, of course, the phosphor guy here. The stone guy has already died, and the tar has ruined my whole experiment here. God damn it, you bastards. Well, guys, it has been demolished. It took many episodes to build it, 
and a couple minutes to destroy it. Isn't that like everything though? You make sand castles at the beach, and then you destroy them just for the hell of it, and all that work just vanishes. So yeah, I mean, it's a good thing because we got another save state to go to that's pretty much exactly the same from what I understand. I haven't actually looked at it yet, so hopefully it is, but this is goodbye to our actual save state. So I hope you enjoyed the destruction, let's go on and go to the new one. Okay, and welcome back everybody to some more Slime Rancher. We're on day 15 now with about 30k in our bank, it looks like it's a very similar world to my old one. Now I actually was just browsing Twitter in between this and oh my god I'm lagging right here. I don't want to know how many cats are over there because I'm at 19 FPS right now. But yeah, back to what I was saying, uh, I was on Twitter and actually one of you did notice in the video that the actual fruit was there. So my other save state chances are was totally fine but that's okay we got a new save state now and it's actually kind of fun considering i didn't build this so i'm kind of holy shit i don't need this many puddles this is crazy okay how many puddles do we have over here okay a shitload of puddles almost too many puddles i have to actually exterminate these guys and i feel really bad about that you know what we're, we're gonna do that right now i'm sorry guys but you're only supposed to have about two in each thing and we're not gonna make like 15 spawns okay so there we go we got uh one left in there <laughs> we had fucking 20 Puddle slimes. Actually, 24 puddle slimes. Sorry, I can't do math. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna let these guys be free. And when I mean free, I mean truly free. They're going to the fucking ocean. This is honestly the only way I feel good about doing this. There you guys go. Be free. They probably died, didn't they? Okay, well, such as the way of life, sometimes you just gotta deal with that. Okay, so I'm excited to see if there's anything different over here, too. I mean, there's a lot of exploration now because I did not build this. Icy Caress built this, which is a friend of mine as well as a fellow YouTuber. I'll put a link to their channel in the description just as a thank you for making uh, this new server for me. Or save state, rather. Oh my god, okay, I don't know. I think it's very similar to my old one. We got about maybe a few more slimes, but uh, I'm really curious to see how many cats we got. We, we have to go over there and see because I was lagging right over here by the freaking wall. That never happened in my, happened in my old, old server. Oh god, guys, I am lagging so badly right now. I am so worried when I look around this corner. Actually, it's not too bad now. Okay, well... Actually, that, that isn't as bad as I expected. I expected to see just pink everywhere. But uh, yeah, we do got quite a few in here, as you can see. So yeah, it's almost like nothing happened. We're just at our old park with a few more slimes. Now, there is some new upgrades. I don't know if Icy bought the upgrades for me already, but we're going to try and buy those now. Yes, okay, so we did get the upgrades. I don't actually know how to use them, so uh, <laughs> that's uh, maybe I can go over here and learn. Okay, well, I'm not sure what the backpack upgrades entail. Obviously, we got a five slot now for storage of water. That was one of the upgrades. Maybe that was the only one. I don't remember, but uh, honestly, I didn't use many of the upgrades anyways. I know we got some sort of pushback here, as you can see. I never actually used that. I upgraded that so long ago. Anyways, now it's time to go find those elusive vegetables that I have been looking for for so long. Um, we may as well also collect some water here if we can. Yeah, so you can store just as much water as you can hold things, I'm assuming. So I should be able to hold 50 here. It's looking like, yes, that is exactly that. So we got 50 water now. Now water can be used for, I believe, two things. First of all, refilling your pond because the puddle plorts, or sorry, puddle slimes slowly deteriorate that. And also tar are vanished via water as well. So it's a good way to uh, deal with the tar. <gasps> what are these? Those are them, Oka Okas. I would have definitely seen those if they were on my other server. Maybe they were just all Aiden, I don't know. But I finally did get the Oka Okos. Oh god, we got tar here. Okay, and there's more of them. I'm gonna collect as many of them as I can because I want to get a lot of food. I want to do, hopefully in the next episode, uh, feeding of the Gordos. Those three Gordos that we found, I definitely want to fill them up to see what they give us. I'm assuming new keys or something. So yeah, I'm just gonna look around here for anything else that's new. I think we pretty much found everything, but uh, sometimes I've been surprised. Oh, we have another gangbang over here, guys. Look at this. I love how they try and stack on each other to climb things. They are smart little whippersnappers. And I realize I'm an old fucking fart now because I just called a slime a whippersnapper. Jesus Christ. Aw, oh, man, you know what I should have done with those damn puddle slimes? Put them in here. It would have been fun to have, like, a, a huge pool of puddle slimes, but, uh, well, too late now, I guess. 
Okay, I did find another portal. I don't know. Oh, this one goes right back to my house. Okay, so we got those new portals. I don't really know what they're for. One in the cave, and then one in our cat sanctuary. I wonder where those come from. Anyways, we're back home. We got our Oka Okos now. Actually, before I put them out in the sunlight, uh, a friend of mine said they're supposed to be in caves or something, so I'm just making sure maybe I gotta put these in caves. Uh, veggie favored by Rad Slime. Deposit the Oka Oka in a garden depositor, and you'll have a large Oka Oka crop of your very own. This crop will last for several harvests. Um, oh, okay, so it doesn't say anything regarding light, so I'm assuming I can just put it down here. Now, we got 16 minutes left on these. Well, let's start collecting some of these, because they are starting to go rotten, and I probably should feed my slimes. I haven't since I've came to this new server. Okay, we got so many heartbeats, though, it's not even funny. Like, these guys are clearly being overfed, and there's still quite a few heartbeats in here. So we'll throw a few in there. Let's throw some heartbeats in here as well. Oh my god, like, Icy set me up so well on this server. Like, I already got a stockpile for these guys. And look at the ground here. I got so many more. Uh-oh. What the fuck? Where did you guys come from? No, get the hell. Where'd my water go? That's what I want to know. I was going to use my water, but clearly I can't. So let's try and get these guys the frig out of here. Uh-oh. I'm seeing... I don't know where this tar is coming from. Thankfully, I got these nets or my freaking guys will be dead. Get the hell out of here, God. Okay, I clearly, I can't throw these guys. So come on, there we go. Stop biting me. I don't really care. I got enough health anyways. Uh, let's make sure everything else is okay. I have no idea where that tar came from, and that's kind of concerning. Sometimes they climb over the mountain, though. That's probably where he came from, but I'm just going to go check my boom slimes really quickly just to make sure, yeah, everything's totally fine in here. Okay, but I was filling these things up. It looks like we got uh, pretty much a full thing in here and a hundred. Oh, well, we actually dropped down to 94 as well. You know what? Let's pick up some of these since they're just going to go rotten again and throw them back in here. So yeah, these guys should be totally fine for quite a while now. I just got to make sure my trees are okay. I wonder if I can plant an Oka Oka even if there's time left. Let's find out here. Is that going to? No, it's not going to allow me until the time runs out, unfortunately. Okay, but actually my trees have all but died. I actually got a few pogo fruit here, so that's good. We can just feed our cats these once again. <laughs> they're, they're picking up the pogo fruit. Can these cats are just so damn cute. Okay, get the hell out of the way, cats. That would be great. They're seriously on top of me right now. Jesus Christ. Clearly they're not that hungry, though. I mean, look at the amount of pogo fruit on the ground. Uh, I could probably put way more cats in here. Unfortunately, my game, or rather my computer, can't handle it. Okay, my heartbeats have finally vanished. Actually, now that I think about it, I know I just wasted time waiting for my heartbeats to vanish, but I wonder if I should put a pond over here instead of this uh, storage container. Now, I do use this a little bit. I have been storing a little bit of heartbeats, but honestly, I don't feel the need to. If I can just put a plot of what they want right beside them, I should be totally fine. So yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is move these beautiful little puddle slimes over to their other buddies over there. So yeah, we're gonna demolish this, and then we are going to build another garden, and it should be totally fine. We got nutrient soil, yes. Uh, sprinkler, of course, and why not build a scare slime as well? I really wish they would add more plots that we could use because obviously I could use a hell of a lot more plots. Uh, but we'll just put a pawn here for right now. I don't want to learn more. Why is the learn more always... I just assume in my head this is the purchase button. I don't know why. I'm sorry, guys. So there we go. We got a new place for our beautiful little puddle slimes. And then our other guys as well. You know what? Let's collect a lot of this puddle plort because it's worth a lot of money. Let's go look at prices, actually, because this is a different world. So his prices are probably going to be a little bit different. So uh, rad slimes are worth quite a bit. Puddle slimes are actually worth even more, which I don't think was the case on my other world, and gold slimes obviously way higher. Now, I'm actually curious what the lucky slimes drop. I still haven't found one. I was actually looking for one uh, earlier today, and that's why I only have one oka right now. I actually died in the water, so I did collect one more, uh, but that's all we really need anyways because we're just going to plant a field of it. So let's do that really quickly. We are going to plant the oka okas for our rad slimes over here. There we go. Uh, I don't know what they're going to look like. I'm actually curious to see what the farming plot looks like. And let's replant the heartbeats as well. We might actually um, need to replant our trees as well, which is the only issue that I have because I don't really have access to the actual fruits. Now, I did replant these ones over here, but I didn't plant the boom slimes ones. Okay, honey booms, is there any mint mangoes in here? Have you guys ate everything? How are you guys doing? Let me see their faces. A lot of them are confused right now. No, they are not very happy, so we gotta go get some more mint mangoes now because these guys are hungry. Now, I actually want to see 
If this portal over here actually just takes me back to maybe my farm? No, it doesn't do anything yet. So I'm curious to see what the, they're doing with those portals. Oh, <gasps> there he is! There he is! Get him! Get, die! Oh, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what... Okay, it's a lucky slime. What do what do lucky slimes like? Oh, fuck it vanished. Are you serious? So I would assume he would be uh, reactive to coins, but you can't actually throw your coins. Like, what the hell? I finally did see him, though. But obviously, I didn't want to see him in that regard. I didn't really know what to do, so I shot a fucking heartbeat at him. <laughs> Okay, but here we are. We're just getting some mint mangoes really quickly. Actually, that's all I needed was five. Let me see if there's a few more over here, though. There we go. And let's head home. Okay, well, I went out to grab a few mint mangoes, and I didn't realize I would find a lucky slime. I actually thought they would only spawn at the um, indigo quarry, so I didn't really expect to even see anything there. Anyways, let's go see our boom honey slimes. And hopefully none of them are too hungry yet. Okay, guys, I am so sorry once again. I am clearly not a very good parent here. These guys are always so hungry. To be fair, though, if you guys didn't blow up in my face, it would be a little more easier keeping this up to date. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, my God, I'm so going to die. I just want to get to the thing. Oh, I thought it was a, I thought it was a honey slime because it was covered in goo. Okay, so there we go. Oh, I actually missed that one. And I think we did get all of them, though. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's all that's in here. So there you go, guys. I got one more, so I'm just going to throw it on the ground there. Who's going to get it? Who's going to be the lucky one? I heard it chomp. I didn't even see them get it. And here is our new crop. We got our Oka Okas coming in, which is great. Uh, we're going to feed our toxic slimes, or rad slimes, rather, their favorite vegetable now. So that's great. Uh, let's actually start feeding a few of these guys. There you go. Extra hearts. You guys are... Poopy, feel free to poop as much as you can. Holy shit, we actually got a hundred here. Okay, guys, well, that wraps it up for another episode of Slime Rancher. I hope you enjoyed this uh, very destructive episode. Actually, a lot happened. We did find the lucky slime. We also found our Oka Oka and absolutely destroyed our other save state. Next episode, we will probably be evolving these guys into something. I'm not really sure yet. I might actually get rid of these guys as well and do uh, two different types of rad slimes. I don't know. Also, we'll be feeding the uh, Gordos that we did find. So as always, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.